Then we have uh, we have share based payments. Share based payments. IFRS two. We have uh, we have uh, taxes. IS twelve. We have um, we have uh, employment benefits. Employment benefits. IS nineteen. So far, friends, from our previous sessions, we have already covered this. We have covered IS 36. We have covered IFRS 6 in our previous sessions. We have also covered financial instruments in our previous sessions. So we have not covered the share-based payments. We also not covered the taxes. We are also going to cover the employment benefits. So far for today, we want to look at um, share-based payments. And uh, that's the area we want to look at now, share-based payments. Share-based, share-based payments. IFRS 2, share-based payments, IFRS 2. In according to uh, share-based payments, in IFRS 2, the concept is simple. We want to value the services and the goods we are selling, we want to value them in terms of shares. We want to recognize the shares or the value of the shares that will be issued in exchange for the goods and services. So how will they be recognized? That's our concern. Where we issue shares, or where we issue, I mean, we exchange shares for goods and services or we calculate our payments based on the number of shares and a certain price, how will they be recognized? How will they be measured in the books? So we come to share-based payments and IFRS 2 has given that recognition. Now, the main objective of IFRS 2 is to be concerned with three types of share-based payments. Yeah, Object objective objective concerned concerned with the three types three types of share based of share based of share based payments of share based payments that is we have the types the types here the types here one we have the equity settled. Two, we have uh, the cash settled. Three, we have choice. Choice of equity or cash settled. Those are the main three types of share-based payments. Now, friends, when you talk of equity settled share based payments, is where we are going to issue shares to the holders. We are going to issue shares to those who have provided services or to those who have supplied goods to the farm. So we value, we issue shares to them which they can exercise at their, at their time of need. Then we have the cash settled. When it comes to the cash settled, friends, we'll be looking at the number of shares. We'll be bargaining, we'll be making some payments based on a certain number of shares as a, a certain price of that share. So get the difference. When you talk of equity settled, we are looking at the number of shares that will be issued to those who have supplied goods and services to the farm. When you talk of the cash settled, we'll be looking at how much do we pay based on the certain number of shares at a certain market price in, at some point in time in future. That's the main difference. Equity settled, we issue shares to the, to the providers of services and goods. 
while the cash settled, we give them cash, but that cash will be based on a certain number of shares which may be issued at market price. So that's the main difference when we talk of equity settled and cash settled. Another issue or another big difference is on uh, recognition. How do we measure recognition and measurement? How do we measure this? Remember, when it comes to equity settled, we are going to recognize them uh, using the fair value at the grant date or the agreed price at the grant date. The grant date is the date we have agreed between uh, we have agreed between the service or the, the providers of goods and services and the entity. The date they have agreed on a share-based payment. The date the, the share-based payment agreement was reached upon. So we'll have equity settled that will only be valued or measured based on the fair value at the grant date. And it will not be adjusted. The pricing will not be adjusted. On the other side, when you look at the cash-based payments, we'll be revaluing it. We'll be always be remeasuring it. We are going to use the fair value of at that point in time, the fair value. We're going to measure the shares. We're going to value the goods and services using the shares, the market price of the shares at that point, at one point in time. So this means that every year we are going to do remeasurement. We are going to make the necessary adjustment. If the price will increase or reduce, we'll be used the new price every year. Those are very important differences that we need to note. Remember, the equity settled is where we are going to issue shares to the providers of goods and services. The cash settled, we are going to pay cash, but the cash will be based on a number of shares at a certain market price. Second difference is where we are in equity-based payment, we are going to measure it using the fair value at the grant date without changes. While the share, the, the cash settled, we are going to use the market price or the fair value at each reporting period that may be changing over time. So if this year it was 50 shillings, the next year it will be 55 shillings, and thereafter it will be 70 shillings, we'll be using those prices. That's for the cash-based payment. But for equity settled payments or equity settled uh, share-based payments, we are not going to make an uh, adjustment. We are not going to remeasure. We simply use the fair value, the fair price at the date, at the grand date, and that's all. That's important. So it's interesting. This is one of the shortest standard, right? One of the shortest standard. Remember, if you're able to remember the three types where we have equity settled, we have the cash settled, and a choice of equity or cash settled. It will be very, very important. Now, then you also need to remember, as we have just said, as we have just said, that equity settled share-based payment transaction in which the entity receives goods and services in exchange for equity instruments of the entity, or that is shares, while cash settled share-based payment transaction in which the entity receives goods or services in exchange of amounts of cash that are based on price of the entity's shares or other equity instruments. And then there is also a choice between equity and cash settled. Now, there are some arguments, there are some arguments which have been against the share-based payments. One of the arguments is that no cost, therefore no charge. We should not charge anything because we have not incurred anything. Yeah. Another one is that earnings per share is normally determined twice. If you're going to account for the share-based payment and uh, there's also an, a share-based payment as share options, then we are going to determine the earnings per share. We are going to, uh, you know, duplicate the determination of earnings per share. Then we also have adverse economic con con consequence, which may be as a result of share-based payment. Fine. Remember, we have some terms like grand debt, we have already said, items like grand debt, 
What is the grand date? Is the date when the share based agreement was arrived at. Two, we also have the uh, you know the vesting status. Vesting status is a status which upon which an employee or an individual who receive a special employee will receive some additional benefits even if he has not rendered any additional service to the farm.